Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Soap Queen TV and Brambleberry.com. Over the last few episodes, I have shown you lots of different things to do with layering, and now it's time to mix it up. This time, I'm going to show you the one pot method for layering. You ready? The secret to making this technique is to use one container for your entire project. Watch. First, melt 16 ounces of melt and pour soap in the microwave. I'm using orange liquid color, but you could use any liquid color you wanted. Fragrance this with kumquat fragrance oil or a non-browning, non-discoloring fragrance of your choice. It's time to make the first perfect layer. The secret to getting your layers to look perfectly even is to weigh out your soap base. Let's weigh out eight ounces of soap. Here we have eight ounces of fragranced orange colored soap. Pour this soap into your silicone loaf pan. Spray this layer with rubbing alcohol to make sure there are no bubbles. Melt some white soap base down in the microwave. Fragrance this with kumquat fragrance or the fragrance of your choice. To keep the hue exactly the same for our entire loaf, we're going to add white soap to change the shade. Add a little bit of white soap to your melted orange soap until it becomes a perfect shade for you. Measure out exactly 8 ounces by weight of this color. Spritz your first layer with rubbing alcohol and pour that second color gently over the entire silicone loaf pan. Now repeat the process again. Add some melted white soap to your pastel orange colored soap until it becomes the perfect shade of orange. This will be a pretty light colored orange. Weigh out another 8 ounces and pour that third layer. Wait 20 to 45 minutes until your three layers have fully hardened. One of the benefits to using a Brambleberry.com silicone baking pan is that you can pop the soap out earlier than if you were using a harder, more inflexible soap mold. Notice the flex in this pan. Isn't it incredible how easy it is to unmold your soap? Now I'm going to show you two techniques. One, you can use cookie cutters or you can cut into thin strips of color. But first, let's do cookie cutters. Notice my cookie cutters look a little worse for the wear. Well, this is because I try really hard not to mix my food products with my soaping products. So I got these from a secondhand store. Push firmly down into the soap. If you're using old tin cookie cutters like I am, they may hurt your hands just a little. I've improvised a makeshift hand pad just using a folded up napkin. Push firmly down onto the soap. Once you've cut all the way through, take the cutter, which is now filled with soap, and push gently onto the soap until the soap easily pops out. Now, you could just use these the way they are. Aren't they cute? I love the way the color graduation just makes it look like a very complicated and color-coordinated bar of soap. Or you can use a kitchen knife to cut thin strips of this loaf soap, then put these down horizontally in your mold. Now we're going to mix it up. We're going to take what we learned about layers in the last few episodes and mix it up with episode four where we learned about embedding to make one unique consumable art form, a great bar of soap. Melt some clear soap in the microwave. Fragrance this with a non-discoloring and non-browning fragrance. Pour your clear soap into a basic flat shaped bottom mold. Spray this layer with alcohol. Spray your layered soap that you've already made with alcohol and gently lay this embedded object down into the soap. Allow a thin skin to form. This thin skin may take 15 to 20 minutes to form, but it's worth the wait. If you don't, your soap embedded object may not look as clear and crisp. Melt some more clear soap. In order to get the embedded object to really pop, I'm going to use super pearly white for the background layer. Notice there's mica bubbles forming on the surface. That's okay. A little bit of rubbing alcohol spritzes that surface tension away and pop! The mica bubbles open. Spritz the first layer of soap with rubbing alcohol. Pour evenly over the entire first layer of soap. Once that's been poured, spritz with alcohol. Wait four to six hours for the soap to harden. No refrigeration. It may pull the layers apart. To release the soap from the molds, pull gently from the sides of the molds to release the airlock. Turn the mold over. Push down firmly with the palm of your hand. 
your soap should release easily. If it's not, it might need some more time in that soap mold. Look at these bars of soap. Aren't they incredible? They look interesting and different from all the sides, the top, and even the bottom. Thanks for joining me on Soap Queen TV. I hope you enjoyed today's episode where I shook it up and did episode four embedding and all the layering episodes to create something totally unique and special. I hope you take advantage of that idea and mix it up with some other episodes that we've done. You can find out more about me at SoapQueen.com or visit Brambleberry to buy supplies at Brambleberry.com. Until then, happy soaping. Then pull the soap out and then push the soap out of the cutter.